The remains of dozens of child sacrifice victims have been unearthed in Peru, and many more are likely waiting to be found. Hundreds of remains of children who fell victim to child sacrifice have been found in the area before. The sacrifices took place in the Chimu Kingdom, before the reign of the Incas. Watch this video to learn more about the background of this terrible practice. And, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the most important and the latest archaeological discoveries. The graves of 76 sacrificed children were discovered by archaeologists in Peru, and they are thought to be from the Chim civilization, which flourished between the 9th and 15th centuries to form the most powerful and rich coastal kingdom in pre-Columbian America. The sacrificed children, who ranged in age from 6 to 15, were found between July and August 2022 at an archaeological site in Pampala Cruz, Huanchaco's district, roughly 9 hours north of Lima along the coast. The 76 recently discovered remains need to be radiocarbon dated, although victims previously discovered at Pampala Cruz were believed to have died between AD 1100 and 1200. The Chimu people, who are well known for their exquisite metalwork and the city of Chan Chan, prospered in the region at this period. Gabriel Prieto, an assistant professor of anthropology at the University of Florida, is in charge of the excavations in Pampala Cruz. The location is close to Huanchico, where earlier bones were discovered. At the site, which is 300 kilometers north of Lima in the isolated Huanchico district, the 76 children's sacrificed bodies have been found. An extensive pre-Inca Chimu culture archaeological project at the Pampala Cruz site has uncovered numerous adult tombs, child sacrifice sites, and countless artifacts. The first mass graves for child sacrifice found here have sparked the discovery of numerous others. In fact, it appears that child sacrifice was a Chimu custom that was somewhat commonplace. The bones of 302 child sacrifice victims, including the most recent 76 Pampala Cruz child sacrifices, have already been discovered in the area. Prieto explained how the sacrifices most likely took place. All 76 skeletons had a transversal clean cut across the sternum, which suggests that they possibly opened up the rib cage and then they extracted the heart. They were buried on an extended position, with the feet toward the east, Prieto told Life Science in an email. They would have faced the rising sun while facing the Pacific Ocean, which would have been behind them. They were buried on top of an artificial mound. It's not clear why the sacrifices were located in this position in this place. We thought that the area, and particularly the mound, was free of Chimu child sacrifices, but we found the opposite, Prieto said. The Chimu, who carried out the sacrifices, had a society that was predominantly oriented on agriculture. To that end, they undertook massive irrigation engineering projects, that resulted in a vast network of hydraulic canals that transported water from the highlands to farms, palaces, and temples. Exceptional fabrics, as well as items made of gold, silver, and copper, were also manufactured by the Chimu. Chimu society was extremely stratified, with aristocrats at the top and peasants at the bottom. Chan Chan, the mighty Chimu culture capital, was formerly a large city that covered more than 36 square kilometers, despite being an inhospitable water-scarce terrain currently. The construction of roadways, tall walls, reservoirs, pyramids, and homes was accomplished using adobe brick architecture. Chan Chan's population was probably in the thousands at its height. The Chimu were subjugated by Pachacuti Inca Yupanqui and his son Topa Inca Yupanqui between 1465 and 1470 AD. With the Inca's conquest of the Chimu, many aspects of Chimu culture, from political structure to irrigation and road construction, were absorbed into the Inca imperial system. The children who were just revealed as victims were not the first. At the Pampala Cruz location, remains of hundreds of kids were discovered in 2018 and 2019. According to a remark by Farron Castillo, the site's head archaeologist, in The Guardian in 2019, this is the biggest site where the remains of sacrificed children have been found. There isn't another like it anywhere else in the world. It's uncontrollable, this thing with the children. Wherever you dig, there's another one. Also, the archaeologists discovered tiny footprint remnants that had withstood erosion and rain. The tracks indicate that the youngsters were probably marched from Chan Chan to these various sacrifice sites, where they met their terrible demise. According to the Andina News Agency, radiocarbon dating has proven that six distinct child sacrifice incidents occurred, over a period of more than 450 years in the Pampala Cruz region. The six occasions, which took place between 1050 and 1500, were linked to crucial moments in the establishment, growth, and consolidation of Chimu development. The most recent 76 remains were discovered between July and August 2022. Of them, 25 tombs were discovered in Mound 1, 
and the remaining 51 graves were found in Mound 2. The tomb of five females interred in a loose circle, sitting head to head, was the most intriguing find. This tomb was found in Mound 1. It has taken experts some time to explain this peculiar burial. According to Gabriel Prieto, director of the Huanchico Archaeological Program, the earliest known child sacrifice took place about AD 1050. In order to honor and exalt their state, the Chimu used human sacrifices, particularly those of youngsters, as a fundamental aspect of their religion, according to Pampa Cruz. However, according to Prieto, it is unclear why the Chimu would have performed such a large-scale child sacrifice in this region. The Chimu did however, build a nearby artificial irrigation system and new agricultural fields, and some of the sacrifices may have been performed to sanctify these fields. A number of other archaeologists are also having trouble explaining the mass sacrifices. Professor Akaut noted that as writing was not known in Peru at the time, there are no written documents describing the children's deaths, making it difficult to determine why child sacrifices were performed. Akaut suggested that the sacrifice may have been a result of climate or environmental issues that damaged local crops. An independent bioarchaeologist named Catherine Gaither told Life Science in an email that the location is amazing and has the potential to help us understand much better what was going on at this point in prehistory. The reason for the sacrifices, in my opinion, was probably connected in some manner to a cultural reaction to environmental changes that resulted in considerable cultural upheaval. Perhaps there were correlations with certain natural occurrences, like an El Nino, a climate cycle in which warm water from the Pacific Ocean moves closer to South America and affects the weather. Whatever the real reason for the child sacrifices may be, and regardless of whether we will even know, it is clear that the barbarity of child sacrifices, especially on this scale, must have had a strong and traumatizing impact on the society. While the terrible practice of human sacrifice in other cultures in America was mainly practiced on prisoners of war, it seems that the Chimu sacrificed their own children. This is very hard to understand for people living now, and because the Chimu formed an illiterate society, we will probably never understand what led them to these practices. But it was deeply ingrained in pre-Columban America, as the Incas who took over the Chimu kingdom also practiced human sacrifice, and they also mainly sacrificed children. So it is likely that in years to come more sites with child victims of human sacrifice will be found. Only after the advent of Christianity did human sacrifice stop in the Americas.